Hi class, I'm back. I pray you had a great week. So last time we talked about kindness and how to make kindness a lifestyle, right? Well, in order to do that, we have to do kind acts for others. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. Kind actions and how we should make it a point at all times to ensure that our actions are kind. This may seem like a duh moment or duh point, but ask yourself, do you take the time to think about whether or not your actions are done in kindness? Okay. Why are kind actions not rendered? Is it because it's easier to just be selfish? Probably so. Well, I know that I don't always choose to be kind. So this week, as you're going about your normal routine, take the time to purposefully make sure your actions are kind. And don't only think about how your actions affect you or what people think about your actions. Think about how you can exhibit kindness with your actions and then just do it. Think about how your act of kindness can change someone's entire day for the better. It can mean just a little, or it could mean everything to them. But as a follower of Jesus, as an example of the kindness that Jesus always showed, it's your, no, 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 no. It's our responsibility to be kind. So what are some kind actions we can do this week for others? Offer to wash the dishes. Ask your parents if you can help cook dinner. Or just give a great big smile. Remember, no action is too small. So before we close, I want to tell you one more thing about kindness. The more you're kind, the easier it is to be kind. The more kindness you show to others, the easier it is for them to be kind to someone else. Remember, kindness is contagious. We know that there are a lot of contagious things that aren't good, but this contagion is very good. So go out and be contagious with kindness. See you guys next week. Bye.